Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be talking about the requirements for your K-1 visa medical exam. Uh, I will try not to make this video too long. So I decided not to include my um, medical examination experience and instead I will be making another video about that which is going to be a story time. So yeah, this video should be a short one kasi hindi naman ganun kadami yung requirements na kakailanganin mo on your medical exam, okay? So if you guys are ready, let's get started. The first thing you need to bring is your passport. So make sure your passport is valid and how do you know if your passport is valid? Um, on your biographic page, makikita mo doon yung kung kailan na-issue yung passport mo and then below that is the uh, validity of your passport. Nung nag-apply ako way back 2016, um, it has 5 years validity. So I don't know kung ganun pa din or nadagdagan na kasi narinig ko before na magiging 10 years na yung validity. I don't know kung nakasakatuparan ba yon or not pero yung sa akin 5 years. Alright? Then, your passport photocopy. Hindi po lahat ng page ng passport ay photocopy. Yung biographic page lang which is yung page kung saan makikita yung picture mo, name, kung saan ka nakatira, kung kailan ka pinanganak, etc. etc. Uh, wag mo nang i-photocopy yung ibang page, okay? Wag mong i-reduce or wag mong i-enlarge yung photocopy, just the actual size of your passport is good, alright? Next is, kailangan mo ng 2 by 2 pictures and you need 4 pieces, 4 identical 2 by 2 pictures. Make sure na dun sa picture mo, makikita yung tenga mo, just like what I said the last time. Kasi dun ko unang na-discover na kailangan pala kita yung um, tenga pagka nagpakuha ng 2 by 2 picture. Although, kita naman siya pero gusto nila talaga na, na all out. Okay, so uh, actually, isa lang yung gagamitin nila for your medical examination, tapos yung tatlo for the US Embassy interview, pero dalhin mo na rin. I'm not sure, but I think uh, kinuha na din nila sa akin yung tatlong other pictures, tapos sinama nila sa isang envelope. So yun, kailangan uh, magkakatulad sila, okay? And then, kailangan mo dalhin yung letter with your case number. Um, ano ba yung letter with case number na sinasabi ko? If you remember on my uh, previous video na mention ko doon na after your NOA2, makaka-receive ka ng letter fro from your Bureau of Consular Affairs saying na yung petition mo has been approved and they are forwarding it to the U.S. Embassy uh, for your interview. So, bibigyan ka lang ng letter with another case number. Hindi ito yung case number na makikita mo dun sa NOA1 mo. It's a different one. And, um, actually, it's uh, same three letters and ten numbers. Yung sa amin started with M and L. So, hindi ko alam kung nabago ba yan o ganun pa din. Tapos, ibang number lang. But, yeah, um, MNL and then 10 numbers. Okay? This is your NVC number. Kung hindi mo pa nare-receive yung letter, makikita mo naman yan sa website. Dun kung saan mo tinitignan kung ready na ba or kung uh, na-transfer na ba yung uh, petition mo to the US Embassy, doon mo malalaman kung it's ready. Once it says ready, doon ka pala makakapag-medical exam. Right? So, i-print screen mo yon and i-print mo ng dalawa kung yun lang ang gagamitin mo. But if you have the letter itself, bring the letter, the original letter, and then um, you have to have two photocopies ng letter, alright? Pero yung sa akin nga, as I said, pinrint screen ko lang, basta makikita doon, magre-reflect doon sa pinrint screen ko na Nandun yung NVC number ko, that's fine. It worked naman kahit wala yung letter. Hindi ko alam kung nasaan yung letter ngayon. And it worked. So, yeah, maybe it will work for you also. Uh, also, you need to register online. So, yung online registration confirmation form, 
Doon ka pupunta ka sa website ng St. Luke's Extension Clinic and you have to uh, register online and meron silang ibibigay sa iyo na form. Print the form and bring it with you on your medical examination day. Uh, hindi yun guarantee na dahil meron ka ng online registration confirmation form, e eh, unahin ka nila. No. Uh, it's still a first come first uh, serve basis. Yun lang, meron ka ng form na nag-confirm ka na you're gonna have uh, your medical exam on that day. Okay? So, yeah. Also, bring your old x-ray film. So, when I say old x-ray film, hindi lang yung film. Please bring the official result of that old x-ray film. Kasi, di ba, nag-fade naman yan. And, um, huwag nyo naman pahirapan yung babasa ng x-ray. So, of course, you have to bring that. Pero kung wala, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Uh, you also have to bring your immunization card. Kung may iba kang special na mga vaccine na na-receive. Um, if you have a uh, medical condition and um, meron kang medical certificate from your um, personal physician, you can bring it with you also. Alright? Then, syempre, kailangan mo magdala ng pera pambayad sa medical exam. And how much? It's 17,025 pesos nung time ko. So, that was um, March 2018. That's 17,025 pesos cash. Um, kung may kasama kang bata na isasama mo abroad or um, ipipetition din I think you have to pay 90, uh, 9,000 yeah, for the kid 9,000 plus um, it's 15 years old and below so 15 years old above that's gonna be adult so 17,025 kung mas younger than that it's gonna be 9,000 uh, plus if you think okay. you're gonna have your period on that day uh, and you're worrying kung kailangan mo bang ipa-reschedule yung medical exam mo, no? You're fine. You're totally fine to have your medical examination. Uh, also, if you think you are pregnant or suspecting that you are pregnant, it's not uh, a reason para hindi magpa-medical exam. Still, you have to have your medical examination. Uh, you just have to tell them that you are pregnant and um, for specifically chest x-ray procedure, meron namang proper na protection para sa mga pregnant women. So, you don't have to worry. Please be in the clinic on time. Uh, 6 a.m. bukas na sila ng lobby. So, pwede ka nang pumasok pero hindi pa start yung process. Um... Siguro huwag ka nilang magsama ng ibang tao kasi maiinip lang sila. So, kung gusto mo na may pagkaabalahan ka during that time, cellphone, bring your power bank nga lang kasi it's gonna be a long day for you. And um, hindi sila nag na mag-charge um, mag sa loob ng clinic. Uh, bring snacks water, although may um, drinking fountain naman doon, pero kung hindi ka masyadong komportable, kagaya ko na uminom sa drinking fountain, um, magdala ka ng sarili mong tubig. Candy, huwag ka na magdala ng kanin at ulam. Pwede ka namang lumabas sa glit para kumain. Sa tapat meron namang kainan. So, yun lang. Um, just relax and um, Yon, huwag kang masyadong ma-stress sa iyong medical exam. So, yeah, that should be it. And um, I hope to see you guys on my next video, which is all about my experience on my medical exam um, days. That's two days. So, yeah, I hope that you learned something from me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!